Hi there, welcome to a very exciting video. I am about to share with you my finished No Sew New Home Journal. I am so excited. You may remember me starting this. I will include a link to the video of when I actually created this No Sew Journal. It was originally a book that I turned into a journal to document our adventures of moving house. Um, it started on the 26th of March 2023 and I actually finished it a whole year later, the 26th of March 2024. I am super, super proud of this journal. There's something very special about seeing a project from the start to the end. Um, and sometimes with these types of things, you don't always do that. When you have a scrapbook, it kind of just naturally progresses and mine, I just keep adding to them. Um, but this one I've actually finished and I feel really proud. It really, really does tell a whole story of our lives. We sat through and um, read through it the other day, um, the evening I finished it, and it felt quite emotional. So I would like to share this journal with you and I really hope that you'll enjoy it. So um, grab a cup of tea and I will share the stories, how I've made it and everything else. So... I am going, it's quite chunky, um, I didn't plan for it to be so chunky, as you can see, I didn't extend the spine because I didn't think I would put so much chunky stuff in it, but I have, and I should have known because, let's face it, that's what I do, I like all the chunky stuff, so yeah, there we go, anyway, we started, I really liked the black insert here, and I decided to really embrace that by using some white pen and I've used a stencil and some paste here and the actual book itself has some little like writing in that so I've stuck over that and again kind of like embraced the frames and I really love the fact I've got here documenting the start of our new adventure one little step at a time I wonder where we'll end up it's so funny now a year on being in our new home in a whole new town that when we first started talking about this, we'd never even heard of. Isn't that weird? 70 miles away from where we were living. Really strange how much our life has changed. Um, I didn't, I, I talk about this quite a lot. If the first impact, if the first page kind of daunts you, come back to it later. I did actually leave this. I remember doing the hello and everything else I left. And I've come back to it then, it looks like a month later because I've journaled this in April. So if you feel quite sort of um, a little bit overwhelmed with the first page, leave it, come back to it later when you feel ready. And I've ended up just documenting um, about how the talk of the move came about and what we were wanting to achieve. I did actually read this back after we'd moved and it was just so funny just saying I was writing down what was important to us, things like being able to get out and walk, a driveway, an ensuite, to be near a station, a train station, um, our own place to work and the other thing I wanted to, I was visualising, I did this a lot, a cosy home, family meals in a big open planned kitchen, fun times at Christmas and coffee in a walled garden with aid. We have managed to tick off all those things. We haven't had coffee in our walled garden yet. I never dreamt I would have a walled garden and I have. So I'm so happy about that. This is another page and I actually filled this out on the 26th. So I'd left this empty, little space for journaling, and I've just popped on there. Fast forward to after we've moved and I realise we've achieved everything we wished for. And I've stuck a sticker then afterwards saying take a chance. Um, this was a card that somebody made for me, which I've included on there. And these are just, again, this was left blank. I've only added this the, um, the other day. This was already, um, it's actually an envelope, but I haven't needed to put anything in there. So um, I may well leave that. This. this is the first page where I started to journal and I spoke about our very first outing. I won't be sharing all of this because obviously some of it's quite personal. Um, and also like sort of like places of where we went to, I've kept a bit more private. So, but um, obviously you can get the gist of the journal. Got lots of little secret bits. I think sometimes that's very important. And um, this next one, we made a decision to do some last minute house hunting. So I've just popped again, just a little pull out card. There's a photo underneath as well. 
um, this one here. I've included some journal prompts from my zine as well. Got a little receipt there. And again, just more information about that particular day. I do love these paper clips. They are so handy. I've used these quite a lot to hold things in place. Um, then I've got lots of photos here um, visiting the foundations of our house. We didn't know we'd be moving here. We just came out to, um, to a site to have a look at a showroom and he took us around. And the weird thing is, I don't know if I've ever told this story, the foundations of this house were down. We weren't even interested in this house. We actually were interested in another house. And there'd been a Morrissey song that we loved. We'd been watching Mosquito Coast and this Morrissey song. I'd never heard of it. It wasn't a popular one, but we loved it. We'd put it on our soundtrack for when we went to the States the month before. We listened to it all the time. And we were on stood at the foundations of this house where I'm standing or where and where we're living right now and this song came on the radio and it's like oh my goodness is that a sign and that really stayed with us and that song just makes us feel very emotional now um, and I've put here again when looking at homes I like to visualize us having coffee in the garden the kitchen the bedroom and the lounge and we've got good coffee spots in all of them and I thought I wonder if this will be our new home one day and it was isn't that weird? I've done some house hunting. Um, I made this like little belly band here. I really like this. This was actually from some packaging. Ooh, it's got a little bit stuck. There we go. It's really pretty. I love making tags. I really do. Um, we loved this area. This area was so nice. That was the thing as well with the house hunting. We found such beautiful places that um, we'd never heard of before. Um, it was such a wonderful experience in that way. Lots and lots of bits and pieces. Looking at more show homes. And there's a little tag here as well. Then I've got some bits and bits and pieces here and I've got a little photo behind. Um, using the clips to hold things in is very, very handy. I've got a nice little collection of paper clips now. I really recommend getting lots of those. That was our house there. And that was when we'd sold our house. And um, we came to look at this house. We didn't want this house. And it was very emotional because it wasn't our first choice. But it was a very difficult weekend. We bought my sister. And... To, um, to look at it for her opinion we ended up putting a reservation down a deposit down and we went for it and my brother-in-law said he thought we had the best plot in the whole of the development so that really pleased me this is interesting just reading this I've used a to-do list I think Kat sent me this and some bits and pieces um, a bit like you know when you sort of like read out affirmations and or positive things that you want to manifest uh, making it happen right now I want to start my new business and succeed Oh, that's the business I've started this year. I've just realized that. I want to wake up, make coffee and sit outside and just see green. I want to have my apple chutney moments as when I need them. I want our new home to feel like our little retreat. I want to know my work home boundaries better and keep to them. I want to create a life that we love together. There. Yeah, it's quite interesting reading that. Some of the things that I've written about. There's us in our lounge. <laughs> this is so funny looking back. Um, and I'm just unraveling the mess, what the future holds. This was the 5th of September, always taking the baby steps. After worrying about our future for so long, it now suddenly feels more clear, more exciting and less scary. Goals, intentional decisions, and a five-year plan. I need to make a five-year plan. I haven't done one of those for quite some time. Um, I've added a, an acetate page here and talking about stress. I've documented the stress of, of selling our house. Um, I've hidden it away because I don't want it in my face. I've put look on the bright side. I've kept the colors positive, but I wanted just to document about how awful things were at times and how scary. 
Um, so it's obviously all worked out, but it is part of the story. So I'm not dwelling on that, but it is in there if ever I want to read back. This one I th think I might be one of my favourite pages. It's just so pretty. Um, it's just a really, really cute one. Lots and lots of bits and pieces. I've got a little pocket here as well with the site plan of where our house is. And then this one, I actually pressed a flower from the front garden. We did actually, I loved my sunflowers. They're mini sunflowers and they grew like a really big, thick bush. Loved them. They grew, start in about August and end until October, mid to late October. I have actually, there was so many of them. I dug some up, thinned them out, and I've replanted them in pots and taken them to my mum. So I want to bring some, almost like cuttings, if you know what I mean. Um, we did that previously with them. In the, We've cut some out because they just got so thick. So I didn't obviously damage what we had there. Um, but I just wanted to be able to almost have some cuttings, like I said. So I want to bring those over. But I really liked that. They have given me a lot of joy. I like them a lot. And then we've got me talking about our dream kitchen. That's very important to me. And the visions. I have visions of cooking in our beautiful kitchen whilst Aid sits on the sofa with his feet up chatting to me. I still haven't, we've kind of done bits like that, but we haven't had a relaxing Sunday of just that. Um, I'd like to do that still. Um, it's just felt very busy since we've moved, but it's only been four months. Um, that's a picture of my dream kitchen. So that's something I'm still working to work towards. We've got a few plans, but things take time. And we've said from the off start that we weren't going to rush. And this was Visions, wooden floor, white kitchen with wood, black copper and naturals. Um, this is the room that we are most excited for, our dream kitchen. Um, so yeah, I wanted to document all of that I did have a picture I thought mm, maybe not yet um, this was a, something I wanted to document um, about the kindness from people and just how lovely people have been this was a lovely card sent to me by a really kind friend that she made and I really wanted to document just how kind friends had been um, here we are. This is one we got to come and have a nose in our house when it was all starting to come together. The kitchen was partially made, put together. Um, we had walls and this, these were our dreams coming true. There's our kitchen there. There's the back garden taking shape. Um, this is an envelope where I've just taken the flap off and used as a pocket. Oh, let's see if I can, that's it. I use a lot of envelopes as you can see and here we are we are making progress there's our front door we were very excited about the front door <laughs> the hallway and the landing that was one of the things that we really liked about the house oh I need to stick that back on Got our road coming together because we moved into a proper building site and then more photos there's our landing lots of I like the fact that I've got the birds there and I've just stuck along the bottom so I can just pop bits and pieces in. That's worked really well. And I love the fact of all the lace that I've kind of like stapled to the sides. I've added tab tops so that things stick out, which I really, really like. Um, making dreams come true. Um, this was something as well. I really enjoyed this. This was actually a Patreon video of me creating. I'd seen some artwork online that I liked. I love the quote, create a life you don't need a vacation from. That is something we've been really working towards. We wanted our home to feel like an escape. We didn't feel like we needed to, es we, we didn't want to feel like we had to escape from our home, which is how we felt in our old house. So um, I did that as one of my Patreon videos. So um, I'll leave my link to Patreon down below. I'm really happy with that one. Just another page talking about fresh starts. And this one, three sleeps to go. We got the final walk through our house. Um, again, I've done like a little flippy bit here. Um, this one's really pretty. And just a couple of photos from our whole old house with a couple of stories. I had a little lace bit here that had been popped around something. So I've just stapled that on. Um, this journal actually I have used a lot of old stock up 
um, bits and pieces, not stock, stash that I've had. So it was a really good way to use up bits and pieces. This one, I did some really big stamping here. You may remember this page. And I'm wondering if maybe I should have laminated these or just made them, just stuck them onto something a little bit thicker because they are kind of like bending a little bit but that kind of like adds to it as well we've got the worst day ever and the best day ever we've got the story of moving out of our house which you know did not go straight forward by the way if you want to see that video i'll leave the link below it's on my vlogging channel and there's us finally we had the worst morning and then the best afternoon how can you have two such contrasting well, i was going to say days it wasn't even days it was one day to feel like I don't know, I can't cope, just sick, such anxiety to then just feeling such happiness. So I've documented all of that. This was on a box, a candle that my friend Emily gifted to us. And um, it had uh, the best friends always keep us shining bright. And I really love it. And I wanted to keep that. So, and then I've put some photos underneath and told the story of my sister and Ben coming to help. I also wanted to, I've used quite a lot of cards that have been sent to us. Um, so I journaled on the back of this one. This was obviously one of the envelopes. Um, some views there. Um, yeah, I, I'll tell you what as well. Sticking some tissue paper over a book page works really, really well. I've just used normal um, glue, like a sticky um, sticky glue, what do you call it? Obviously they're all sticky, aren't they? Um, glue stick, that's the word I'm thinking of. And it's almost like you can see through, but it's just really, really pretty. So I've got some just views from our house there. And then just some like moving in photos when things were starting to take shape. I quite like how this one is. I've just used normal writing paper there. I think that's come out quite well. So again, I've used one of those big arrows, paper clips, they're really handy got some hidden journaling in there talking about pacing ourselves um, with the house got a little photo of my sister and I moving these kind of bits aren't actually in order um, but I'm fine with that um, I, I found a couple of things that um, I wanted to document that I hadn't actually yet so they're a little bit out of sync but that's fine and I use some um, printables as well my patreon printables and got Aid and I in the van there. But yeah, that's a little bit out of sync, but that's absolutely fine. And that was a little envelope that I made myself. Um, we were given an amazing hamper by the developers when we moved in. These chocolates were so good. Cookie Moons. So I included those. And I've got um, the first two receipts. I made a little... Um, pocket there the first two shopping receipts from when we moved in um this artwork was sent to me by anna i wanted to include and this beautiful card was sent to me by loose and then i did a page about feeling grateful um got some more home pictures got a little envelope here as well about the story of the garden wanted to document all of that um, I've just, yeah, again, just using loads and loads of bits and pieces. I've just had so much fun. I love all the textures here. Then I tell the story. Then I tell the story of the pantry. And I've included a little gift thing from Amazon from a friend. I really liked this page here where I've used a heart and actually highlighted um, the state of joy, the state of perfection. I'm just talking about our home. Another one, got a photo with the kids on just some fabric and some homemade washi that I made as well. Um, I really like enjoy, um, including some of the new home cards. Then I've got a page about my studio space. These last few, I didn't enjoy doing so much. I'll be really honest, I just wanted the journal finished. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling. Um, so these don't have just quite the same detail talking about the fridge <laughs> the little mini fridge that we've ended up with in the pantry talking about our lounge and making cozy spaces going back again to when we moved in because like i said it's a little bit out of sync but that's absolutely fine a picture there with my sister and the fact that within a few hours our house felt like a home it's never felt chaos here 
on that first evening, the lounge and kitchen felt like a home. We had our bedroom done, and Sarah Jane and Ben also helped us get the spare room sorted. So we've always felt organized here. Even when there's been like maybe, like my studio space was full of boxes and like now we've still got Holly's room full of boxes, but it, it you can close the door on it. So I've always felt really pleased with that. We've got some walking photos as well, some stories from around here, talking about the garden um, and just sort of like local space. Another, card there from a friend. I've also got a photo from the guy who sold us our house. He has been there since day one, since the very first day we thought, right, let's drive somewhere. And we met him and he's been, we still see him now. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's snowing. I think it's sleeting. Oh, that weather's awful. Um, I love him to bits. He's just been so lovely. And he was so understanding when I told him about my journal. Really, really sweet. So um, I've got a picture. Um, of him with us and we did our first hike the other day so I've got stories of that and then the very I just realized I haven't done anything that I want aid to journal in here as well so I'm going to ask him um, I'm so proud of how far we've come this year it's been tough but we are the most amazing team there is no one I'd rather do it with than you you are my daily strength and my teammate. That's to aid, not the guy that sold us the house. Um, a year a year on to the day we've done it and we are so happy. So pleased we took the chance, best thing we've ever done. And then I've done the date that I've journaled. So there we go. That is my finished journal. I am so, so pleased with that. Um, I feel very proud, very accomplished. It's a very, very special keepsake. And as you know, I'm not always great at finishing journaling product projects. Um, so this feels like a very, very special one. But thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, good luck with all of your projects as well. Let me know if you've got any that you've finished and are you working towards finishing any? I'd love to hear. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.